Good morning, people. Hopefully, you're doing good. Summer time is on. Time is around 3 a.m. here in Dhaka, Bangladesh. I woke up a while back. Very, very hot and humid day. Very long day. I was running around a lot, so totally crashed and burned out. So crash and burn, sort of. So woke up, dinner, coffee, some work. And then finally, uh, late night, peaceful and quiet, but there's just no cool breeze, okay? Very hot and humid weather still at night. So I decided to do a special video. This is one of those videos that I do always makes me happy. I feel like I'm the summer king, you know? So today we'll be ranking 15 of the greatest summer fragrance of all time, okay? And uh, let's get a few things out of the way. First thing, this is my list, my choice. So uh, fragrance, you know, preferences can vary. Many people will choose different things over these, okay? So keep that in mind. Second things are, second thing is, it's not always about performance. It's about how it makes me feel. Third thing is, this fragrance is on different budget. Mostly designer, couple of niche perhaps, but these fragrances are, uh, you know, here because of like some fragrances, let's say, are of same type. So I will not choose like exact like some blanche style perfume. There are a lot, you know, in that category. So I pick perhaps one per, you know, like the same type, but the many fragrances are alike as well. So let's go one by one. First fragrance, I have to give props. This is one of my summer kings. I always give props to Nautica's Voyage. And this is why massive bottle always now not always this is my second massive bottle but always had nautica's voyage i think this is the most number of bottles that i bought once i finished one bottle or whatever it is always in my rotation in my collection <clears throat> it's very popular to say the least in my decan page this thing sells a lot like hotcake so over the years this has been proven to be one of the best summer freshies with a salty uh, aquatic a cucumber and then kind of like a musky fragrance and maybe there's a green apple also a little bit there one of the most refreshing long-lasting summer fragrances nautica's voyage makes the list <coughs> second fragrance or <coughs> number 14 i'll pick a fragrance hold on sorry just want to clear my throat out because it's getting difficult at times to uh, talk this is a fragrance i pick over uh, the precious aqua digio line from armani many of you will not be happy about it because that's one of the best summer fragrances at least essenza profumo or new perfume the one that i really like but the thing is i have a better solution than those fragrances because one thing they are very expensive second thing sometimes they can be spotting longevity if you like aqua digio this is the best aqua digio alternative with so much more power this is why i choose perrier 360 degree red Another fragrance, always a big bottle in my rotation, in my collection, and it's still very affordable like the Nautica's Voyage. <coughs> Sorry. This thing right here, it's thanks to Jeremy that this got popular. There are many Perialis fragrances that people do not know about. Also good, but this I feel is one of their best, okay? So this thing is kind of peppery, synthetic, sweet, uh, fresh, like very spicy, masculine perfume. Smells so good outdoors. Higher the heat, this fragrance is better okay so just like nautica voyage this thing makes the list an affordable category number 13 <clears throat> i'm gonna go with a classic even though make sure I, I i let you know this uh very clearly this is not one of my most favorite dna but this is one of my most favorite workhorse just like the nautica voyage this thing performs all summer even in winter this thing has been proven older fragrances like one of them this is a top seller very popular back in the days and this thing is a grassy green peppery fragrance which is called 212 men nyc by karina herrera solid performer trustworthy body workhorse for daily drive if you go out in the summer days like now it is like 42 degrees celsius and with high humidity and high uv uh, this is the kind of fragrance i like to wear in high heat i can come back home i can still detect it that is the power of this perfume that's why this is one of the top uh, ever greatest fragrances of summer. Two on to men NYC uh, by Karina Herrera. Now it is called just two on to men. Next one, <coughs> number uh, I think. Uh, sorry, I think 15, 14, 13. Number twelve is this one. Another workhorse of mine, Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue O Intense Purum EDP. Very long name. I just love the way this bottle looks aesthetic wise. The blue juice it literally gives you a feel. It's an oceanic aquatic. Uh, fragrance but with some added polish touched over the original light blue the original light blue is too peppery for my liking it has nice salty accords but the pepper makes me literally choke this thing is so much more rounder cooler blue and this pepper but the florals make it so wearable and this is also long lasting try to get an older batch they'll perform better but these are better 
I did not keep Dior Sauvage in this list because that's like literally like very weak now. This is still performing. Dolce & Gabbana, Light Blue, O Intense, EDP4, Men. That's number 13. I think, sorry. Uh, number 15, 14, 13, 12. That's number 12. Sorry, I lose track. Number 11 is and the big name. Some of the OGs make the list. One of them is Tear Dare Mess, the EDT, original. So understand, there is a lot of variants of this perfume, lots. And I reviewed this, some of his flankers, O3 Fresh, Vetiver, Parfum, you know, I have the Givry here. I love them all, but I just realized over everything else, this is the OG. This is that bitter orange, Vetiver, and then Isoe Super. Very, it comes and goes. You know, this fragrance is very expensive as well. Now it's just so much more expensive than before, but it's worth collecting and once your nose grows, you will appreciate this kind of natural, that, that powdery orange, bitter orange is just so stunning. I cannot leave this out for summer. On the best perfumes ever for summer is Terre d'Hermes EDT. So now let's enter top 10. And some of the top 10s will be not up to your like expectations. Some of them will be like, oh, some of them you would not appreciate or approve. But I'll tell you, let me tell you why they're here. Number 10, this thing everybody will approve. This is a fragrance I just love in summer uh, i did put it according to my liking but i think the ranking is right for today's mood at least this is how i feel nowadays this is called versace menu fresh one of the most stunning looking bottles ever beautiful bottle i just love it for the bottle 10 for the bottle design second thing is the refreshing smell the lemon okay and then carambola star fruit those things are there but woody a little bit aquatic the lemon aspect of this perfume is just so beautiful. I love Dolce & Gabbana uh, Light Blue for Women. I love Star Walker by uh, Mont Blanc, Black Excess. And this, all I think done by the same. Maybe Olivier Cress, who did this? So this is done by one perfumer. But this fragrance, higher the heat, is just so soothing. You can go 50, 100 sprays. Nobody will complain. This is the most beautiful part of this perfume. I think it's a must-have for every collector, if not for the others. But this is one of the must-haves, I definitely will say. Versace Menu Fresh, I always have this perfume in my collection. I hope they never discontinue that. So the next one is number nine, is the most surprising, I think, in this entry in this list that many people will not see. You are expecting Versace Purim to make this list, Dylan Blue to make this list, maybe Dreamer or any other Versaces which are big, right? I pick this over those, okay, in summer. And this is not for men, this is for women. This is called Versace Versense, okay? One of my most beloved perfumes in my journey. Why? Just like that Versace verse, uh, menu fresh. Beautiful, beautiful lemon, green notes, and some florals. This perfume is discontinued now and such a power pack fragrance. You remember, uh, I always brag about how I love Elizabeth Arden green tea, which is there. You can see the cap uh, peeking through, but this thing I love way more than that. That is a great fragrance, but that is a tea fragrance. This thing, such a bliss for summer. At least try it once. Versace Versens, being a dude, I love this more than many other men's fragrances. Versace Versens for the win in summer. So <clears throat> I think number nine is gone. Number eight, one of my latest. I think this is the newest fragrance in this list, which made the list, okay? And being in this list is a special thing. Kenzo Ho Marine, okay? Uh, I like to call it Kenzo Ho Marine, okay? Uh, this perfume, man, I love Kenzo Humidity Intense. Great, great uh fragrance very power pack spicy like uh i like it in the winter the edp and edit intense but this thing is built for summer this perfume literally replaced my bulgari aquamarine which i love a lot but is discontinued and super expensive this thing is more affordable fresh and the uh, merry notes are so right it's not as spicy like uh you might call this fragrance like uh, it's a bit lighter but it stays a long time, okay? So that's what I love about it. It's like ocean in a bottle. This fragrance is very modern and one of the masterpieces of current time, okay? Definitely check it out, Kenzo Home Marine. So that's number <coughs> eight. Number seven, one of my signature scents, Polo Blue. Without any hesitation, without any worry about, I would say like some people say performance, performance. As I told you, sometimes about the smell. This thing, yes, we do have Parfum, some of the other ones like um, Ultra Blue, you know, EDP, this and that. Nothing beats the smell of Polo Blue. I tried almost all of them. This is the smell. This is the right, this is the right formula. This is soapy. This is green, like mossy at the base. And then there's like cucumber, blue notes. Whatever they put in there, 
this is the one that started my journey okay and i always am very weak for it in the high heat of malaysia this is for me malaysia in a bottle okay so many memories so many places i took this fragrance uh, literally like it's one of the best summer fragrances for me it's a 10 out of 10 despite maybe the weak performance okay it doesn't matter it projects so beautifully in high heat polo blue okay 10 9 8 7 number 6 then we hit top 5 number 6 is a fragrance e it just missed out of 5 spot just by one spot this is the ysl y o fresh or fresh okay i forgot the name exactly this perfume is getting harder to find i don't know why and this is the blanche style perfume that i picked if i picked any other fragrance uh, instead of this there would also be good entry like let's say guerlain om sorry guerlain low medial cologne or uh, i have Givenchy gentleman thing cologne that is also very good some of the other blanche style lacoste uh, white you know those blanche style perfume ted hermes auto refresh but this is the one why this is better than any other y in the line i did have ysl ydp pdd this uh, one i think in total four or five i used okay <coughs> so far in summer since i live in a very hot and humid country this is the icy cool opening which i love it's sweet perfume but it has a freshness of lemon in the uh, top and afterwards it's kind of sweet of that why but the perfect balance with great longevity and projection this is the one even i like this over diorum cologne okay so which uh, i did not feature today i did feature this check it out it's a hidden gem why sell why all fresh or fresh so top five big big names i'm just doing one video so if the video runs long i'm not sorry here is a masterpiece for you this is a perfume sadly discontinued hard to find prices are going high cartier roadster it's a shame i'm wearing one spray on my hand just before the review started i just wanted to remind myself on the best mean based perfume with that i think there's a vanilla it's kind of like a bitter uh minty kind of like a weird combination which works performance is even stronger than teradermis okay and this is on the fragrances there is just nothing like this in the market i do like uh, something like azaro wild mint i do have quite a few minty perfumes I do like mint in fragrances like mint really is that herbal fresh green Hermes does it well but Cartier made a masterpiece with a great bottle and there's another watch called Cartier Roadster also which is connected to this with this dial looking like the bottle much more affordable still even after even if you pay $80 get it Cartier Roadster is so high up in the order for a reason one of the best ever so top four features two Pradas and I'm very happy I picked them I let my instinct pick them I did not plan okay i just looked this 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 okay i want those number four prada Lom, one of the highest classiest richest smelling perfume yet so elegant and it does not bother anybody it just like the menu fresh you can go literally bathe in it people will not feel choked i lo do love the Lom intense for winter this is such a gorgeous and luxurious perfume one of the best some people say not soapy not iris enough for them for me yeah it's soapy so this is a fragrance everybody again must own okay one of the must owns prada Lom. number four number three is the other prada brother which i prefer that bit more over the Lom because this one is the character this is what prada means to me this is prada amber purum high are getting hard to find and the new formulation is out you don't get this purple juice if you get this one get five backup bottles and let me tell you why this is one of the most expensive it's if prada Lomi smells expensive this smells like that is a five star this is a six or seven star like dubai hotels okay the bar of smoke soap like they give you the most expensive bar of soap smell absolute amazing there is a secret note of amber which is a fantasy note there's a soapy there's spicy a little bit of florals perhaps this is a fragrance you know this is a fragrance uh there's no chanel <laughs> there is no bloody chanel this is worth a lot more than bloody chanel to me okay prada amber purum one of the goat goat of all time this is why is number three so number two and number one they're two niche fragrances but they are not here because of their niche or expensive they're here because of their uh one is the uniqueness other one is about how soothing it smells how reachable yet elegant number two i'm gonna show you beach heart by amouage yeah i don't have so many niche this is one of the niche that i have that i love this is one fragrance <clears throat> i bought a few years back three four years back i did not understand it i sold it off uh, do not make those mistakes with amouage do not first of all blind buy any amouage second of all if you do buy do not sell it off in a hurry because later you do not know you may fall in love with it which is happy with me i was talking about uh, Cartier Roadster if there's a better mint note in a fragrance uh, then Cartier Roadster is this one okay the performance 
forget about it 24 hours okay on the clothes if you spray it will not <coughs> leave your skin number two is am wash beach hut man i had to get it back okay number one mm, uh, it will be surprising and shocking to many okay this is a niche perfume with a designer sort of smell performance is great but your nose can get blind to it so you might feel it's weak it's not weak it is the best summer fragrance from parfum de marley in my humble opinion till now i love this over uh, sedley which i had galloway some of the other ones they have this is the king of summer this is called greenley okay this is the green bottle amazing looking bottle and uh, it's expensive for what it is it's way overpriced um, you can get fragrances like uh, dolce and gabbana light blue for women and then perhaps something like maybe dkny uh, the green bottle like with that green apple and the citrus if you layered them that's perhaps you get close to this this is the green apple shampoo kind of smell why this is number one because the way it smells i love this dna more than anything else in this list it's just so soothing and it's so simple you if you smell it some people will say it smells like a 40 dollar cologne true but the way it makes me feel i don't think until now i have faced any fragrance that makes you feel more refreshing i was gonna put uh, apple brandy on the rocks by Killian, but that is way more expensive than this if you talk about value uh, i would say if you even if money uh, approves get greenly so that's my number one and for 2024 i think i'll stick to this list for top 15 summer fragrance of all time so do let me know which ones are your favorites and which one do you think did not deserve a spot here love to hear your thoughts and stay safe uh, and then take care of your health and drink plenty of water i'm drinking every day six to seven liters of water um it's it's just helping you know because otherwise you'll have headaches you'll have dizziness this kind of weather is not built for normal regular life okay so do take care and stay uh, in the shades see you soon uh take care good night